In this problem, we are investigating the effect of dilation on the side length of a figure that gets dilated. And you'll be able to move this slider to create the dilation that you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it by hand because this slider doesn't work for me. It says do a dilation centered at the origin, great, uh, with a scale factor of 2. And when you're dilating something centered at the origin, uh, all you have to do is take the coordinates of any point you want to dilate and multiply it by the scale factor. So this should be pretty easy. What I'm going to do, because we've got a figure here, is just take the four endpoints, take those coordinates and multiply them by two, and then replot them. So here we have the point one, four. So that's going to be two, eight. So let's go up to two, eight. So that's that first endpoint. Let's do this one down here. We have the point three, two. So that's going to be six, four. And then we have the point 4, 2. That's going to be 8, 4. And then we have the point 4, 4. That's going to be 8, 8. And then we just connect the dots, and we have our dilated figure. OK. So there is a dilation with a scale factor 2 centered at the origin of this original figure. Let's see if we can answer some questions now. It says, fill in the blanks. The shortest side length of the original figure is what? Well, uh, that's this one. That's one unit. The shortest side length of the final figure, well, that would correspond to this side. So that's two units. Fill in the blank to make a true statement. The shortest side length of the final figure equals something times the shortest side length of the original figure. Well, you multiply it by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. So just as we multiply the coordinates by 2, side lengths are all twice as big as each other. You see this one is 2 long. Its corresponding side is 4 long. The next one says a dilation with a positive scale factor greater than 1 gives a final figure larger than the original figure. And that is true. All of these dilations from 1 on up are going to give a larger figure. The dilations with scale factors between 0 and 1 are going to give a smaller figure than the original. And then D says true or false, the original figure and the final figure are similar. That is going to be true. All of the sides are the same proportion bigger, so these figures are similar. So that is a little bit of work with the effect of dilation on side length.